welcome to my channel if you are new here um in today's video i'm going to be doing like a get ready with me and um it's kind of me procrastinating to edit another one of my videos that's going to go up soon it's a full face first impressions but now i'm doing this i just want to say it's li it literally just started to snow outside and i'm really happy let me show you guys like, it doesn't snow that often anymore, so this is great. Literally, you can't even see. Oh, there we go. You can see, like, the screen on my window, so it's like, you don't see it as well. But that's super exciting for me. Um, I feel like a lot of these products are probably going to be things from the full face first impressions, so I can keep trying all of them out. So I'm going to start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Wait, is that what? Yeah. One. Wow. Um, Primerizer. I got this because I heard a lot of good things about it, especially in like the winter time. And I have combination skin, but it gets very dry. So I'm very excited about this product. Oh, I'm so excited that it's snowing. I really want to get the Alex 9 drawers, but, like, right now I have to work, like, to get money to buy it. So, I'm working right now to try to get the Alex 9 drawers, and there's a You're probably like, why would you do that? Literally everybody has it. Why do you want it to be like everybody else? <laughs> But like, that's exactly why everybody has it and so it's apparently really good to store makeup and the drawers I have right now, they do not store makeup well. Okay, let me tell you. First for foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir and I think I've heard, I've just like seen people use it and like heard good things, but I got it. Okay, first of all, I love the packaging for some reason, but, um, oh, shoot. I just, I don't know, I, I think I heard good things, but, like, when I read it about it on here, it looked really cool. Because, okay, so, lightweight, full coverage makeup. This formula hydrates and includes a, co a complex of SPF 20 vitamins and an anti dioxin but it's oil free so i don't know it just seems really cool i'm gonna use this stippling brush today i never use one some people always do and i wanted to try that out so trying something new here oh i see how this blends like really nicely even though hopefully it doesn't look streaky normally i like a like a really dense brush this foundation smells good What a smell. I'm gonna go charge it and then come back. So I'm gonna do finish my blending in my foundation and then I'll come back later. <clears throat> okay, I really hope I don't run out of battery again, but I'm back. So I have foundation on. Might need some more blending. Oh my god, the snow outside is picking up. Okay, I'll show you guys again. Oh my god, it's starting to stick to the ground. Wait, you can't even see it. Look at that snow. Some people might be used to snow, so they might think I'm crazy. I literally, I just went back to editing the other video, which I'll like link down below because it should be up before this month. Anyways, for concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. I know everybody uses it, but it's a, such a good concealer, and lately I miss it because I haven't been using it lately. I've been trying to try other concealers and branch out and not just stick to one concealer, but I honestly really recommend it, but I'm just going to apply that. Anyways, so I've been trying to work on my room because it needs a little bit of help 
but hopefully I'll do like a, re a room tour sometime. I just took down a couple of like things that were on my walls that did not go with my room anymore. Okay, let me just re-say all of that. So I'm working on my room and stuff, and um, I was taking down like some things that were on my wall that I do not like anymore, did not go with my room anymore. So I'm really working on my room, and um, like I said, I want to get the Alex 9 drawers, so um, that will obviously make an impact in my room, like I have to have a place to put that. But um, as you can see behind me, I like I like cleared off my vanity. I just have my brushes over there. There's literally nothing on this side, and it's because I put it all in my cart for my Kia. It's a cream color. It's in cream, or actually I think it's called beige, but it's literally a cream color. Or like I don't know. But I'm going to show you guys like the cart right now because it's literally right next to me right here. It actually matches my vanity perfectly. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to play with that but with organization and stuff. That way I can like clear off my vanity. Oh my god, wait. Here you can see my cart. There's a crap ton of makeup on the top. My face masks are in bottom. And we have tech stuff at the very, very bottom. I'm using the Y6 brush from Morphe. I got this because of Laura Lee. But, I mean, it's not just because that. It's because when I saw, like, her use it and say that she really liked it, I wanted it beca um, because it's a dense, like, kabuki kind of brush. And, like, some people like, like, a stippling brush like this. But I really wanted like a dense brush. And like it's real like I had a hard time finding one. So I just use like sponges. But I really do like this brush. I want to make sure everything is blended. I'm going to put on some chapstick honestly. This stuff is so good. I'm definitely putting this in some kind of favorites video. I say SW Basics. It's a three ingredient cream so you could easily make this at home. So this thing, it says it's not speci it's not specifically for anything. It's not specifically for your lips, but that is what I use it for. And it, it works so well. The three ingredients are shea butter, um, coconut oil, and olive oil. And I recommend, like, honestly, like, just make it yourself. But like it comes in a convenient bar jar. I do I doubt this was expensive. Literally my mom gave this to me, but um pretty easy to make if you have those ingredients. I mean I don't know who has shea butter, but like if you do, you should make that. Anyways, um we'll do some cream contour. This was also my first in Oh, I just mm. anyways, just smashed my fingers. So I got the stippling brush for this, honestly, not gonna lie, but I have been using this. So I'm trying to find what's the best thing to use with this. Please, if anybody knows, comment down below, because I'm still trying to figure that out. Oh my god, look at it right now. Okay, I try to keep it up here more. It's going all the way down here. We're gonna need some help I, with some concealer probably. Looking a little too snatched right now. Anyways, we'll just move on to the other side. Do a little down here. A little up here. We need concealer going back in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I need my Y6. <clears throat> Let's bake. I freaking love this stuff. It smells so good. Okay, literally, um, my memory card 
is full. Uh, is full. So I didn't run out of battery again, but I ran out of storage. So I'm on a different memory card. Anyways, we were gonna start baking, weren't we? Okay. Okay. Oh shoot. This literally won't come out. Okay, we'll just try to sweep some up. 12 seconds later. Ooh, progress. The face is bacon. Now, let's move on to the eyes. So I have, shoot, I have this thing of palettes and they're ones that I want to reach for more. So, I think today I'm going to one hour later I guess we'll go into the Carly Bible palette this was her collaboration with BH cosmetics this is the original one not the deluxe version that they came out with after all that so yeah. I am going to take the Morphe Y16 and I'm going to take this shade just to like as a base, I already have like some foundation and concealer that like got blended over my eyelid. So I'm kind of just um setting that. Oh my god. Maybe I should do my brows. We're gonna do my brows first actually. So I have the Anastasia dip brow pomade, but I I don't use the Anastasia brush with it. I just use this e.l.f. one because literally you don't need to go and buy like a fancy Anastasia brush. Just use an e.l.f. Like I find that to be so unnecessary and like a waste of money. Like honestly watch me like come back with that brush but um one day. <laughs> but I just like to use a more affordable brush, because why not? Also, I love my Morphe brushes. They're super affordable, but yet they're really good quality. Oh my god, the battery's low again. I'm going to have to come back again. Oh my god. Now I need to fix that too. Okay, we're going to need to put concealer around my eyebrows today. Because it's got a little messy. I love this brush. I use this to carve out my brows. Pause this. Okay, so I finished up my brows and stuff. Kind of going for a messy brow today, but um, yeah, so I'm actually going to do some base stuff. I love this blush. It is so pretty by Burt's Bees. It is um, in the shade Bare Peach. Gonna take this random brush and put that on. To put on some bronzer, I'm gonna use my butter bronzer. Literally every time I use a bronzer, I like smell it, thinking that it's going to smell like this. It literally smells like so good. It smells like summer. I'm using this giant brush by It Cosmetics, which my mom gave to me because I guess she didn't use it. It's ginormous. I love it. I'm going to use some of the... Oh, wait, no. I'm going to go into the Anastasia um, Glow Kit because I feel like I don't use it a lot, so I put it in that palette pile, and I wanted to use it, so... I'm taking this Morphe Y14 brush, and so, oh my god, I got this because I literally got it for 50% off, um, I think it was at Macy's or something, I'm gonna use white sand, but, so the reason I don't actually reach for it a lot is just because I feel like it's a super chunky glittery highlight. So, I don't know how I feel about it. I might mix it with my Becca highlighter and Champagne Pop. You know, thank you, Jacqueline, 
for creating that. Like this is literally just chunky glitter. Wait, I should do like an eye look with this. I mean, it's pretty. Are all uh, Anastasia highlighters like that? I wanna know. I really like this, the Becca highlighter though. Oh, it, it's such a pretty color too, like. I'm running low on battery like usual, but I'm just going to put that, oh, it looks so pretty over top. It just blends the glitter with my skin. Like I said before, I wanted to use this palette. We'll go back in with this. But anyways, so, so basically I filmed like a vanity tour, but it's mostly, so it's, so I kind of made it so that a vanity tour and a makeup collection are different because I wanted to do a makeup collection when I got the Alex drawers because hopefully I'll get that at some point. But, um, so I filmed that and I forgot about that. So it is different than a makeup collection. I don't point out any of the makeup specifically or like, I don't show like really what makeup I do have. I show how I organize kind of and like the layout of everything. Okay, so if you can see on the wall back there, like there are two holes and that is because when I tore off my monogram that was up there, it took off part of the wall. So <laughs> yeah, so now so we just, my mom just patched that up and we need to paint over it. But it already looks so much better without it, not gonna lie. I need, okay, I need to put away my laundry. I need to clean my room again. Okay, so I did, for the full face of first impressions, oh my god, I'm talking about this again. But, <clears throat> so I used the, um, one of the Super Dova shadows from... ColourPop, and so it turned out to be more purple than I thought, and it made my eyes pop so much because I have green eyes, and I thought that was really cool. Because obviously, like purple and green are on the opposite color sides of the color wheel, but so I feel like this will kind of make my eyes pop because this is like kind of this is purpley, maybe a little more pink. But not as well that other purple, that, that other purple was beautiful. Okay, so like, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if any of you watch like those um, makeup videos on Instagram. Obviously, like I've said this before, but if you don't know, I have one of those accounts, but like, I don't know, but like, some people, like, don't even post that much. Like, um, I thought people, like, posted them, like, every day and stuff to keep up with it. There's this one Instagram account. I love her. She literally posts, like, every day. And she is, like, I find that so cool because, I don't know, she works really hard. And, like, I feel like the more people post, like, that really shows. And... Like, I don't know, it just, some people, it just kind of makes me mad, but it's kind of just a random rant. She works really hard, and I hope that she hits a million soon on Instagram, which I feel like on YouTube, like, I feel like the standard amount, or like, what shows that you really, you have a lot of following or something, if you get to like a million, but on Instagram, I feel like if you get to a million, that's like a ton. Like, I feel like that doesn't happen as much on Instagram yet. But for Instagram, I, it's, I feel like it's easier to grow. Okay, so I want to spray a brush with Fix Plus and do some kind of shimmer shade. I'm actually going to use this shorter, flatter brush, but it's still really fluffy so I don't know which shimmer I'm gonna use I don't know if I want to do it from this palette actually like the shimmer part or maybe I could take like this one at the bottom 
like one of the highlighters because I want it to be lighter so it doesn't look too harsh on my skin tone. It's just kind of subtle. But anyways, I'm um, actually, you know, I'm going to take this La Roche Posse. It's one of those just like water sprays. But honestly, this is good if your skin is dry and but really sensitive. Like, um, I had an allergic reaction to some kind of product, and I think it was actually like a face spray. But I used that when I was trying to get rid of it because it literally lasted like a week. So I was using that to try to help with it. And it's really good if you have sensitive skin. And so I thought that was really cool. So I'm kind of just putting this like everywhere. Like everywhere. If you can see, I kind of need to touch up there. Okay, that ended up being more pigmented. Thought I dusted off enough. This is getting a little intense. So tip to help a little bit with that is take that skin tone shade or whatever shade fits your skin tone and uh, try to blend that in. It's up to my eyebrows. Oh, it doesn't even, it doesn't really look like that on camera, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna do the other eye. For mascara, I will be using my new favorite mascara. It is the Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline. This mascara is so good. Honestly, don't buy drug, don't buy high-end mascara because the drugstore has got some good mascaras. The only reason I use high-end, will use high-end mascaras is because I'll have some that my mom doesn't want. I want to get like, so Pixie has this little lower lash mascara and it's like super like tiny spoolie and makes it so much easier because I feel like I always like I always get it like under my eye and it doesn't look as good. So I feel like that would be so cool and much easier. That would literally make my life so much easier. So I really want to get that. So I wanted to try putting on lashes today. Not sure if I want to do that today. So I think that's all for it. I'm going to use a little Urban Decay All Nighter. So this is the final look. So I hope you had fun getting ready with me today. Um, make sure you check out some of my other videos. And then subscribe and like this video because why not? Anyways, so thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye. You watch me play.